Hello, welcome back. Now, as you can see from all the stuff at the back, we're doing a bit of cooking today. I don't know how this actually came about, whether Rob from Bramall Backroom Brewery mentioned it in one of the lives, or if somebody in chat mentioned it. But we got around to thinking, or suggesting, this is Rob's idea now, I think. So he said, oh, we should do that. Bacon, cheese, pretzels. Hmm. Link to Rob's channel is below this video. He's doing the same and he's uploading it at the same time. I've no idea what he's doing, but as you can see from the title, I'm doing loaded cheese and bacon pretzels. But as we're spice and easy, there's a little twist on it, as you expect. And we're uploading this and then following the upload uh, two days later, it will be the Fab Show Oktoberfest special. Mmm, German beers pretzels, bratwurst or bratwurst, whatever sausages we want, as long as they're German. And it's going to be a cracking night. It was last year, so join us for that. So, on with the cooking. This is what I'm doing with them. And then, I can't wait to see what Rob does with them. Go and check his video out. As I said, link below this video to Rob's channel. Go and check out what he's done. And if you're not already, stick him a sub while you're in there. Let's get on and let's see what I can do with this mishmash. So we're going to start off. I've got a little bit of chilli olive oil in here. Not too much because I don't want it to be soggy. And we are going to fry off these onions. As well as some thinly sliced bacon. So let's put all this in and then I'll come back in a minute when all this is done for the next stage. So that's done just enough for how I want it because it is going to be cooked in the oven as well. So the bacon's cooked and the onions are softened or translucent. So now we can start on the building. So in the dish we have a pretzel chopped up. Well two actually. And that's these ones, you can get them definitely in Lidl's because that's where I got these from. And they have them all the time. I'm sure other supermarkets that have a bakery section must do these pretzels. They're like the dairy ones, not the little snack biscuits that you get. And I've got two of those chopped up into the bowl. That's for starters. Then we want our bacon and onion mix. Which is still quite warm. That's going to be scattered over there. Just like that. And then we have some sliced green chilies. Now obviously these are optional. We're spice and easy so you know we're going to add chilies. The chilies are, there's actually one prairie fire which should be red. I've took it off early so it's not as hot for this dish. And then there's another one which I can't remember what it is. It's one that Fiona's grown. We've got loads of chilies. Should be a shorts video coming up soon of end of season chilli harvest. So we're putting these chilies on. Again, optional or just red jalapenos would look nice in it. So that's your chilies. Obviously I've put a lot on there, but you can just put a sprinkling. And next, these are end of season cherry tomatoes. Just ones that were left on. We took off and we managed to get them to turn red in the windowsill so you can obviously get your own plum cherry tomatoes would be good because they're a bit sweeter now a bit of cheese sauce now this is just the packet mix because I couldn't be bothered to make my own you can make your own if you want but we're having a drizzle of cheese sauce on more cheese if you're on a low fat diet you'll <laughs> look at this recipe So there's all your cheese. What you've got to remember is that this will probably do four people. You only want a section of it with something else. So now what we do is we add a bit of smoked paprika. And then we add a little sprinkling of garlic granules just to prep it up a bit. Scattering of black pepper. And one more thing, which is the pièce de résistance. 
is some homemade bacon dust. Yeah, now, if you want to know how to make this, drop it in the comments and I'll do a video on it. It's so easy, but it's an intense bacon flavour because of the way you, you make it. So we're going to get that intense bacon flavour over the top now. And that is it. Loaded cheese and bacon with chilli, of course. Pretzel. That's now going to go in the oven. 180, preheated. For oh, probably half an hour. If it's longer, I'll let you know. Because we're going to have a look at it in a minute. And see what it's like. And there we have it. Loaded cheese and bacon pretzels with added chilies for a bit of a kick. Bacon powder on top looks really good. So, we ought to try it really, haven't we? This has been in for, oh, half an hour. 180, middle shelf. And let's see what it's like. Ooh. Well, hot, temperature-wise. And let's try a bit. With the bacon powder on as well. Ooh, and bacon bits and tomato look. We got the lot. Oh, that is so good. Yeah, I'm talking with my mouthful, but banging. And Zeus can hear me saying how good it is because he's coming. That is banging. Just a bit of spice from the chilli, that lovely smoked paprika and garlic flavour coming through. And the bacon, the bacon dust on top is awesome. Awesome. Just adds a real concentrated bacon flavour. Mmm. Man, that's good. When you get that slight chilli kick as well, oh, it's amazing. Don't forget, drop your comments in below the video. What do you think of this? Do you like the looks of it? Are you going to have a go yourself? So easy and something different. Get it in for your Oktoberfest. This will be cracking with your Oktoberfest beers. And also, don't forget, drop your comments in because one video this week I will pick out and live on Saturday, on the Saturday Night Live Show, I'm going to put a random draw in and somebody will win a prize just for commenting so make sure you comment make sure you like and make sure you subscribed and we're going to catch you later i'm popping over to rob's aka bramwell battering brewery to see what he's done with his it's over to you rob and make sure you go over and watch his video and give him a subscription while you're there challenge accepted and done I'll see you, Rob. I'm coming over.